Hello everyone, this is Northwind here, and welcome back to Code Combat. Uh, in the last episode, we did the l uh, next five levels in uh, Backwoods Forest, and we're going to continue on now. This one here is called Backwoods Standoff. Yell and cleave your way to victory like a real barbarian. Basic syntax, arguments, while loops, and if statements. Okay, I'm pretty certain... Are these new glasses or old glasses? I think those are new glasses, but it means that we don't have access to the shield. Oh, well, we do. We have the uh, bronze shield now. Okay, this should be good then. But these glasses now give us distance to and find nearest item methods, uh, letting you find distances and locate items to collect. So we can have find nearest item, find nearest enemy, and distance to. Okay. Code combat. Good to know. Uh, the goal is to wipe out the camp. Okay, let's see what the uh, comments here say. These munchkins are scared of the hero. Say something, and they'll back off. However, once there are enough munchkins, they will gang up and ambush, so be careful. Whenever you can, cleave to clear the mass of enemies. Use is ready to check if the hero can cleave. Otherwise, say something. All right, so if um, is ready... I believe it's in quotation marks, but let me just make sure it is. Okay. Cleave. Uh, if that is ready, then we're going to self.cleave. I guess we really don't have to worry about enemy. Uh, where's the cleave option here? Here we go. Cleave. Object. So I guess, yeah, we're going to have to put a... Uh, so if we did this right now, we wouldn't have any... Oh, I'm glad I caught that. Cleese. Alright, cleave, enemy. But we're going to have to declare what, what cleave is. It doesn't know... Um, what's this say? Missing self keyword should be self.isready. Oh, that's absolutely true. Self.isready. Alright, but it doesn't know what that is. So we're going to say enemy equals self dot find nearest enemy and if it does then we're going to cleave otherwise else we're going to self dot say and we'll say I don't know come at me so alright and then this will loop so let's uh let's try it out. It's possible this might work. Mission Novesty. The Pamun Pash. All right, so they're gonna hang back until. Shishwa Ami Kala. There are Mission. lots and lots of people, and then they're gonna all come at Shishwa me at once. Ami and then. Mission. Oh. Okay, I think that's gonna I think that's gonna take care of this. All right, so we can go ahead and skip through the next one. That is successful. All right, continue. All right, so now we have this here, which says dueling grounds. Battle head to head against another hero in this basic beginner combat arena. Okay, well, we've got the new sword, we've got the new shield, we've got the cool glasses with the tape on them. We've got everything else we need. I think there's nothing else that we need to add. Defeat the hero, the enemy hero in 90 seconds. Your hero must survive. Okay, so we're going to pause because I don't want to do this. All right, defeat the enemy hero in a duel. Find and attack the enemy inside a loop. When you're done submit to the multiplayer ladder. Alright, well, first things first, we need to find the enemy. So, enemy equals self dot find nearest enemy. I hate it when I don't put spaces in here. This is my little weirdness. Okay. So we are going to attack self.attack enemy alright 
I think that should probably do it. Unless we're going to have to worry about fire stuff. Well, let's try it. Well, worst case scenario, we have to restart, so Chishin. there we go. Alright, we did it. It was a little bit weird. I mean, obviously, we could have done better. We could have went around the fire. We could have led the person over to the bear traps. That could have actually done it. Um, probably not the best ranking. Um, so let's see here. I'm actually perfectly fine without having to worry about that. I'm not really worried about that. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the Backwoods Forest here, and we're going to head into Peasant Protection. Stay close to Victor. Basic syntax, arguments, variables, while loops, and if statements. I guess they want us to have these glasses. Oh, okay. I already had them on. I don't know why it didn't let me. That's fine. Code combat. Repel the ogres, save the peasant. If an enemy gets too close to you, attack. Otherwise, move to the X to stay close to the peasant. Remember, you can find the distance using distance equals self.distance to enemy. All right. So we've already declared enemy as a variable. We've already declared distance as a variable. It says that if distance is less than 10, then we want to attack the enemy. All right. else. Actually, this... We need to self.move xy to... What's this? 4037. 4037. Alright, so let's do this. It's going to find an enemy. It's going to check the distance to the enemy. If distance is less than 10, it's going to attack that enemy. Otherwise... We're going to move back to this. This is essentially the exact same thing as one of the previous ones. Um, where we had guys coming back and forth and had to return to the center of the screen. Uh, I'm hoping there's not another part of this that I'm missing, but let's give it a shot. This looks like it's going to work. So maybe it is exactly the same. You're just using a different method to do it. There you go. Okay. No new items. Uh, what do we have here? Forest fire dancing. Someone didn't put out their campfires. Use nested if statements to dodge the fireballs. Basic syntax, if statements, arguments, variables, and while loops. I don't think there's anything that I need to add. Code combat. So the only thing we have to do here is avoid the fireballs. So you can nest an if statement inside another if statement to make a more complex choice. So if gem exists, get the position of the gem. If the position of x equals 34, the gem is on the left, go left. Else, if the gem is on the right, go right. Otherwise, if there is no gem, go to the middle. Use this technique to find a safe spot and avoid the fireballs. All right, so let's take a look and see what they've already written out for us. In this level, the evil stone is bad. Avoid them by walking in the other direction. Okay, so if the evil stone exists, find the position of the evil stone. If evil stone is 34, that would be x34 here, then we are going to want to go to x46. So self.move xy, I think I, I was just looking at that, 46, 4622. We are currently at 4022. 4622. Not two, and uh, not a period, so 22. Uh, otherwise, if it's on the right, we're going to want to go to the left side, which is... Well, hold on a second, okay. If the evil stone equals 34, yeah, we go to 4622. Otherwise, we go to 3422. Okay, that's correct. Move XY, 3422. If there is no uh, evil stone, return to the middle 
which is 40 22 all right so let's check here really quick so while true this will always be while the while the level is running declare an evil stone find it okay so if next evil stone if that exists find the position of it if the position is 34 on the X coordinate it'll be on the left then we're gonna go to the right to 46 if the evil stone is on the right which is uh, at 46 we're gonna go to 34 and if it doesn't exist at all we go to 40 20 so let's give that a shot all right I think we're doing all right I don't think there's gonna be any issue here yeah, we've pretty much covered every single option that they could have here so yeah there we go success all right so we got some more gems but no new items okay all right and i think this will be level five well, let's check our time really quick yeah we're about 12 minutes and we can do one more level remain centered with nested if statements basic syntax arguments variables while loops and if statements uh no new items Stay in the center to avoid the headhunters. Kill 15 incoming munchkins. So, imagine each if-else is a container. If it is acceptable, put another if-else statement inside of it. So, find the nearest enemy. If enemy exists, and if the enemy type is munchkin, say, I see a munchkin. Otherwise, say, I see other some kind of, other kind of enemy. Otherwise, say, I don't see any enemies. Remember to pay close attention to your indentation. That's very... Very, very important. All right, so let's take a look here. You can put one if statement within another if statement. Be careful how the if statements interact with each other. Make sure the indentation is correct. It's helpful to start with the one outer if else using comments as placeholders for the inner if else. So we've got a loop, we've got an enemy variable, and we've found the nearest enemy. So if there is an enemy, then we're going to want to create a distance variable with distance two. So in this case, it's distance equals self dot distance two, and I'm fairly certain they're gonna want us to be distance to the enemy, but let's just check to make sure. That's fine, nearest enemy. All right, self distance to enemy. All right, if the distance is less than five meters, then attack. So, if distance is less than 5, then we're going to attack. Self dot attack, s tack, attack. What is it with me today? I just cannot spell enemy. All right, so if distance is less than 5, attack the enemy. Otherwise, else. All right, uh, I think I'm probably gonna wanna do this. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe not. This feels like it's messing me up. All right, all right, so if that's the case, then we need to shield, self.shield. And I'm pretty sure that I'm doing that correctly, but let me look at shield just to make sure, self.shield. Yes, okay. If there is no enemy, then move back to the X coordinate, which is 4034, and they've already written that out for us. So let's make sure that everything is spelled correctly. All right, and then double check. We've got the loop, that's this dark blue indentation here. Then we got the first if statement, so if an enemy exists. And then we've got the else statement here, which will move us back to the center of the screen. And then we have this if statement here, which will attack the enemy or shield. Um, and I'm pretty sure. Let's see that. Should be okay. Let's do this to be sure. Yeah, that'll work. Let's try that. I'm just determining whether or not this pass needs to be uh, under this here 
Actually, I think it does. I think this has to be under this if statement and not under this else statement. So let's give that a shot. All right, so no enemies. Not really moving now. We're just waiting for them to come close. I don't see us dying, but our health is doing okay. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about this too much. It looks like we're going to actually s succeed here. The move actually looks like it was a little bit different, but that, of course, wasn't in our uh, in our goal, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. All right, and I think that's going to probably be the end of this episode. Let's double-check the time to be sure. It looks like we were at about 16, 17 minutes, and I'm all right with that. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Remember, if you'd like me to move back to another language, just let me know in the comments, and leave a like to let me know that you enjoy the series, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.